going on everyone? Today I'd like to do a pretty quick video, and I initially thought I wasn't able to get an upload done this week uh, because I thought I had to go through an editing process, I had to go through like training footage, and I had to get something that looks relatively decent for you guys, but here's the thing, I just don't have the time this week to do that. So I figured I would record like a vlog footage and do some sort of discussion with you instead, uh, just because I want to get some content out, and there's always, there's always things to talk about. So. What I'd like to discuss today is being with stillness and that, that need or desire that a lot of people feel where they need to fill the gap. And when I say fill the gap, I mean basically fill that gap of stillness, fill that gap of emptiness, of space. Now what do I mean by gap? So, a lot of times people aren't comfortable just sitting still and just being, just being with their surroundings. A lot of times they feel the need that they have to uh, be engaged in something, either a conversation with someone, picking up a device, talking on their phone, anything. You know, I was talking with someone recently and they were saying that they, uh, you know, they went into the city, into downtown Toronto, and, you know, they were there and there's just swarms of people going all over the place. And they just felt, they actually had to wait for someone. And they felt super uncomfortable just standing there, just chilling, waiting, not doing anything. Just being with the environment, being with the surroundings, observing all these little microorganisms that are human beings swarming around and creating larger, big group organisms. So they were not comfortable with just the stillness, just being still and observing all of this taking place. So a lot of people, what they end up doing is picking up their phones, picking up their devices, they put their head, shoot it down, and click, 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 click. So what I'd like to discuss is embracing the stillness, embracing the silence, embracing the no-thingness. Because what's really interesting is the further people move away from stillness, the further people uh, try to fill those gaps with activities, with thought, you know, even, even just being with stillness and no thought, not thinking, not doing, just being. So the more people try to fill that space with thought or with activity, the less creative they are. And why do I say that? It's because a lot of creativity comes from that empty space. A lot of creativity comes from that space because that space is representative of no thing. And where does, where does everything come from? The realm of no thing. It's, it's a creative space where nothing's yet defined. Not in thought, not in action. And it's a space where you can go and you can pluck Certain things, intuitions, insights, ideas, all these things, they come to you in a very natural way. Not where you're thinking for them, clinging for them, grasping, trying to grind your brain and figure it out. They'll come to you in waves and just it'll, it'll be so fluent and so smooth and it happens when you're in that stillness. When you're not, when you're not being a busybody running around, when you're just sitting still and just embracing everything around you, being a part of that environment, being part of your surroundings, understanding that you are connected with everything around you. And then you just let those intuitions and insights flow through without any judgment, without any thoughts towards the matter. You just let them come. And you can let them go as well. You don't hold an attachment to them once they do get there. You just simply go, ah, okay, and you move on. So if you, if you get some sort of in, uh, insight or intuition into an idea, something you want to do, you don't necessarily have to go, oh shit, I got it now, and you get up and you run and you go do the thing. No, 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 no. Stay in your stillness and just, ah, okay. And wait, and just just be with it. There's a certain type of meditation, it's called Dzogchen meditation. I'll put the link in the description below. What the meditation method is, it's a Buddhist, Tibetan Buddhist meditation. Now, what it basically is, it is non-meditation. It is not not practicing loving compassion meditation, not sitting in, uh, let me just switch the camera here. Oop, there we go. 
Okay. Ooh, not sitting in a cross-legged lotus, not doing yoga, not doing anything, just being, just sitting still and being, sky gazing is one of their, their approaches, one of their methods, where essentially you just, let's go over to the sky. Essentially, you're just laying back, open, open your mouth, open your arms, lay down on the ground, lay down on the grass. You're embracing all that is surrounding you. And you're essentially trying to open yourself up to it. Trying to bring together that union between yourself. And I spoke about this in a, a video on spirituality. Your homogenous self. You're trying to bring together that union with yourself and your surrounding environment. And understand that connectivity. And move into that space of non-action. Non-doing. Not praying. Not chanting, no mantras, no yantras, just sitting, just being, openness, clearing yourself, being translucent, transparent, letting everything flow through you without judgment. This is the practice of Dzogchen non-meditation. So have a look at that. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on it. To be honest, I've practiced this as well. I practice lots of forms of meditation, and this one's uh, of interest to me. And I initially, uh, I've heard about it a few times, but if you're interested in this type of stuff, there's actually a really good podcast you can listen to. It's by Lama Surya Das. I'll put the link in the description below to that as well. And uh, he speaks much on Dzogchen meditation and Tibetan Buddhism. But I've practiced this style of meditation myself, sky gazing, where essentially I would lay down and, and I like to do it in the evening as the sun's setting because you can sort of see the sky changing its colors as the sun's going down, and then you can slowly see the stars start to come out. So I would just lay for an hour, hour and a half, gazing off into the sky, watching my thoughts pass by like the clouds, but letting them go. Not attachment. Not action. Just being. Not doing anything, just being. Being part of it all, understanding it. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Check out the links in the description below. Here's the video. Doesn't take too much editing, I'm really pleased about that, but we get the content out. So thank you for watching, I appreciate it, and I will catch you again in that next one. See ya.